Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm gonna be covering Sentry. Now he made his first appearance in the self-titled Sentry issue number one in September of 2000. His real name is Robert Reynolds and he stands six feet two inches tall, weighs 200 pounds and has blue eyes and blonde hair. Now his powers come from a serum that I quote, moves his molecules an instant ahead of the current timeline, end quote. This serum was created to be 100,000 times stronger than the original that was used on Captain America and was modified by Weapon X. But something to note is that in the Age of the Century miniseries, it is suggested that the Sentry itself is a sentient life form and that this life form is actually a refugee from another universe which attempted to break through to another one for its new home. This leads to the possibility that the serum itself is just an accommodation for this life force. Now Sentry's powers are literally off the charts and his exact abilities and limits are unknown. He's been shown to be able to lift a helicarrier, prevent the celestial Exitar from crushing the earth by lifting his foot and effortlessly defeat and break the handle of the Axe of Terax, a herald of Galactus shown as powerful enough to slice planets in half. He's also brutally beaten and nearly torn apart the female Ultron and easily shattered the shields of Doctor Doom. It's also noted that in the Sentry's initial miniseries that Spider-Man reflected upon a time that Sentry fought and stalemated Galactus. Now as a general rule he tries very hard to restrain his full power, but when it is unleashed, he's even overpowered the abilities of the Absorbing Man and fought an enraged Hulk for a prolonged period of time until both fighters reverted to their human forms. That's right, he fought Worldbreaker Hulk to a standstill. Now, in addition to his vast superhuman strength, he also has an exceptional speed. He's easily able to catch or evade bullets and using his ability of flight, he can even travel to the sun and back in just a few minutes. The Sentry also has no known weaknesses, apparently being invulnerable. Spider-Woman's Venom Blasts, which are capable of killing even superhumans at full power, have no effect on them. And Nick Fury has even stated that S.H.I.E.L.D. has not yet found a way to kill the Sentry. In addition to this, even Iron Man's scanners haven't found any physical weaknesses in his body. He has superhuman senses and has once told an opponent that he could see his nerve centers. He can also emit pacifying light, which can be used to calm people around him. Sentry has powerful energy projection from both his hands and eyes that are capable of even hurting the Hulk. The same Hulk that has withstood the equivalent of solar flares unharmed. Sentry has also at times shown the ability to be able to instantly teleport himself in a blinding flash of light. He also has psionic abilities, being able to at one point implant his memories inside another person's mind and use his alleged vast mental powers to hold his physical form together. He's shown to have the power to resurrect others as well. One time after Ultron murdered his wife, he was able to resurrect her by simply touching her. Now, despite his psionic abilities, he has been shown to have a slight susceptibility to mental manipulation. He can self-resurrect and he's been shown to be able to recreate himself after his body has been completely destroyed. Now, this is far beyond a healing factor because he's been able to do this when he's had total molecular destruction and to be able to do it within seconds. An example being is one time he tried to commit suicide by flying into the sun and it didn't work. Now, discussions between Reynolds and the Void suggest that this particular ability is automatic and involuntary. Now, part of the backstory of Sentry is that Robert Reynolds was a meth addict who broke into a secret lab and consumed a glowing super soldier serum. He then quickly developed the power of a thousand exploding suns and went on to become the Sentry. Sentry is known to save hundreds of people at a time, and he's gone on to become one of the greatest heroes the world has ever known. As time progressed, he discovered that his arch enemy, the Void, was actually part of his own repressed personality, and he had all the memories of the Sentry erased from the world and from his own mind. When these memories began to return, Reynolds transformed into the Sentry again, enlisting the help of the other heroes against the Void. But he ended up re-erasing himself again, and the only record of his existence survived in comic books. Reynolds later regained his memories and took on his role as the Sentry once again, turning up in the RAF superprison when Electro started a jailbreak. During this, he joined the Avengers in trying to stop it, and he continued to work with them while battling his mental health issues, sticking with the team even after Norman Osborn Green Goblin took it over. It's also worth noting that at the end of the Dark Reign storyline, Sentry destroyed Asgard and the Void burst out, trying to destroy the world. But luckily Thor was there to stop him, and after a prolonged battle, he eventually killed him and carried his body to the sun to burn it. Now, over time, Sentry has had many adventures and has made multiple cameos in other comics whenever a big gun is needed. 
And for his powers and abilities and his influence on the Marvel Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Sentry a rating of 1, which is a layman rating. <laughs> Come on, man. Nah, y'all know I'm just playing. There's no in the world as OP as he is. All right, Sentry gets a 10, and that is definitely a legendary rating. <laughs> I had to mess around with you all, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I will talk to you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe to The New Sage.